This is then to JK Paper as well. The company did post a strong fourth quarter performance with profits that went up by about 50%. Fundraising plans as well. Let's connect with the management. A.S. Mehta, president of JK Paper, now joins us on the show. Mr. Mehta, great to have you with us. First up, if you can take us through the key uh, result highlights for fourth quarter and what has led to strong profit growth for about 50% despite your net sales just growing at 14% during the fourth quarter. If you see the top line, uh, the first thing is that during the quarter, our uh, increase in the sale, uh, when you compare on a gross basis also it is uh, almost 17% on the net basis, is something around 14% is increase in the top line. So that top line has given one flip in the result where the, the operating profit has gone up. So that's one part and the second part is our production is also higher. Uh, in fact, uh, I must say that our production is higher almost by 16% in this quarter. So uh, that is also one factor. And uh, then I talk about the operating parameters of the plant. Uh, we saved considerably in the power and fuel cost and as well as our raw material cost has come down in the quarter. Uh, that is also something around 5% uh, reduction in the raw material cost. Uh, the two factor, one is per se the cost has come down. Uh, the other uh, is also that our uses is much better during the quarter. Uh, also one more factor is that the pulp cost has come down. So that has also helped us. So this is on the raw material. And then our uh, other, I mean the product mix is also better this quarter. And in fact, we could sell more of a copier paper, which is a profitable product as far as we are concerned. So these, all these factors helped us in improving our uh, profitability. So can you tell us whether or not this cost of reduction of your lower raw material prices, is this sustainable and therefore what will be the EBITDA margins that you can see potentially over FY17? The raw material cost reduction is basically the outcome of a greater focus on plantation in our own catchment area. In fact, uh, uh, last year we did uh, almost 18,000 hectare of plantation out of that almost 85-90% uh, is in our own catchment area. So from last three years we have been given a greater focus on plantation and that has resulted availability of a material from a local area. So that has reduced the cost of raw material. I am not saying that per se, I mean the basic cost of raw material has gone down but it is the logistics and the better raw material availability in the catchment area has resulted into lowering the raw material cost. And in time to come, uh, our focus on plantation will remain. And uh, in fact, in the year 1819 uh, or 1718 as well, uh, I would say that the raw material cost should give further advantage to us because uh, the availability of raw material from the catchment area will further improve. Has it been any impact on business due to the shortage of water and if at all, we do see normal monsoon, uh, so do you see your business getting better? Okay, uh, yes, uh, there are two factors. Uh, one is the water certainly impacts the plantation activity. When there is a drought kind of situation, in fact the plantation last year in Odisha and the northern Andhra where the situation was not good, in fact, the plantation was lower than our own target, but somehow uh, we did uh, better plantation in Gujarat because the later rain, later part of the year, the rainfall was uh, okay for plantation. So the drought or a good march soon certainly impacts uh, the plantation activity. Also, it impacts uh, the, the wood availability. If there is a good monsoon, uh, certainly uh, throughout the year the farmers they do harvesting if there is a drought then sometimes the premature wood is also cut and that impacts the yield as far as we are concerned so yes and also if there is a good monsoon overall sentiments in the economy are much better and uh, the, the demand picks up and the demand uh, certainly uh, has to be better if there is a good monsoon and finally, you're considering some fundraising plans. What mode are you looking for? 
Today, in fact, in the board, the board has approved uh, the foreign currency convertible bonds uh, and uh, we will be issuing not more than 25 million US dollar. So with this, uh, I mean, in our fundraising plan for 16-17 is will be over and that will be to, to repay and prepay some of our FCCB and ECA borrowing and also the, to part fund our capex. Okay, that's the word coming in from the management of JK Paper. Thanks very much, sir, for taking the time out and sharing your business outlook with us on Hot Stocks.